Hello, this is Steve from SDR Play. In today's video, we're going to look at combining two features of the RSPs that we've discussed separately before. But a number of people have contacted us saying, is it possible to combine the diversity tuning of the RSP Duo with the pan adapter functionality? So first, let's do a little recap of, of what each of those features entails. First up, the pan adapter. And the function of a pan adapter is to give you the ability to visualize the entire band or perhaps even use the RSP to monitor a different band than the one you're tuned to on the rig. It offers you a larger spectrum display than the built-in band scope on some of the newer receivers and it gives you the ability to look at the entire spectrum for the first time on older receivers that did not have any built-in band scope. It gives you the nice feature of being able to click to tune and synchronize the tune frequency in the software with the tune frequency on the radio itself. So that's the basis of a pan adapter. Now when the RSP Duo was introduced, one of the new features that that hardware offers you is the ability to do diversity tuning. And what diversity tuning is, is the use of two antennas with some kind of separation between them. This could be spatial separation, or indeed it could be uh, two antennas of different polarization. You then take the two signals and you combine them together and process them. There is an auto tuning feature built into SDR Uno that will maximize the received signal strength of the combined signals. This technique is called MRC or maximum ratio combining. Alternatively, if you turn off the auto function, you can manually adjust the relative phase and amplitude between the two signals and that it can be useful for eliminating interference uh, perhaps caused by a nearby station. So that's what uh, diversity tuning is. So now the question becomes how do we combine these two features together? First I want to remind you of one of the key features of a pan adapter is the ability to protect the RSP when you're transmitting. And this is often done using an external TR switch or in some cases using internal TR switching within the rig itself. So now to use the Duo, what we're doing is we're bringing a second antenna into the picture. Now, once we've done that, we have to start considering what will happen to signals received on that second antenna when we're transmitting. If we're in the near field of the transmitting antenna, then it's quite possible that we will pick up enough signal that it could overload and potentially damage the input to the RSP Duo. In which case, it will be necessary to apply additional protection to the RSP Duo. Here we see one possibility, again using a second TR switch. And uh, in this case, uh, the second TR switch is used solely to disconnect and ground the input of the RSP Duo. The normal connection to the trans, uh, to transceiver does not need to be made. If you're interested in looking at a discussion of uh, near field effects and, and how you can calculate what they are, uh, the link shown on this slide will give you a detailed uh, examination. Now one key thing is controlling the TR switches. For simplicity, it wasn't shown on the previous slides, but we recommend you always use the control input to the TR switch, and it in turn will be driven by a PTT output from the rig. Now, not all rigs call it PTT out. Depending on the manufacturer, they may use different nomenclature, but almost all of them will have some form of output, which is often used for driving a linear. Uh, for further information on that, we did previously publish an app note concerning use of the MFJ uh, 1708 TR switches, and you see the link there on the screen. Uh, we will also put that link in the description. Now, when you're driving two TR switches, nothing fancy is required. A simple wide cable to combine uh, the control inputs from both switches to the PTT out from the rig will suffice. Let's look at a few uh, FAQs that have arisen when doing this. 
What if my primary antenna is protected by internal circuitry in your rig? Well, in that case you will still need to provide external protection for the secondary antenna. Next question. Well, do I need any protection if my secondary antenna is far away from the primary antenna? Well, this depends on several factors, including how far apart they are, the frequency of operation, and the power output from your rig. The earlier link uh, we showed discusses this. Alternatively, if you want to take a more empirical approach, one thing you can do is tune the secondary antenna to the same frequency as your transmitter, turn down the output power on the transmitter to the minimum level possible, and observe the received power in SDR Uno. You can then progressively increase the transmit power, and as long as the received signal shows less than 0 dBm, remember the uh, SDR Uno shows a calibrated power measurement for the received signal level, and as long as you keep it below 0 dBm continuous, you will not damage the RSP. If, by the way, if you're in any doubt, you think you're okay from a near field standpoint, but you want some extra added insurance, you can use another external protection device, for example, the uh, Receive Guard 5000 that's available from DX Engineering. The next question relates to pan adapters using IF out. And the question is, will this approach still work? Unfortunately, the answer is no. When you're using IF out, you set the SDR Uno software to tune to the IF frequency. So in effect, it doesn't actually uh, tune to any other frequency. So for diversity tuning to work, both tuners have to be tuned to the received uh, signal frequency. And uh, so it will not work in this configuration. Last question, will I hear any difference on my rig? Well, no, you won't. The sound on your rig will be just the same as it was before and will be indicative of the received side circuitry within the rig itself. However, the benefits of diversity tuning will definitely be heard in the sound coming out of your computer speakers because they are listening to the combined uh, signal from taking the two separate antennas and providing either improved signal to noise or elimination of interfering signals. I hope you found this brief video useful and as always for further information please visit our website at www.sdrplay.com.